what are the worst exercises and positions for your spine and especially your low back? That's what we're going to cover today and show you a way to stabilize your low back so you're not injuring yourself all the time. First, let's look at how much pressure is on your discs of your spine in various positions that you have throughout the day. So check this out. With perfect posture, let's say you're at 100 of pressure on the discs. So lying down on your back or on your side, that takes pressure off your discs. You know, and if you've had low back pain before, you know that, especially in the beginning, if it's acute, if it's sudden, if you sprained or, or quote unquote, threw your back out, typically lying down feels the best because it's taking pressure off the spine. But now as you look at the different postures and how much pressure is on the discs. So standing upright, so perfect posture, and this also includes perfect positioning of the spine. So you have the three curves that we talk about a lot, the one in lordosis neck curve, the mid-back curve called the kyphosis, and then the lumbar curve called the lordosis, these three equal curves of the spine balance each other out and protect your spinal cord and take a maximum amount of pressure off of the disc that it can. Now, obviously, there's still going to be pressure on the discs because you're you know, upright and against gravity. So here, but now if you stoop over, it adds another 50 kilograms. So in this poor posture that so many people are in nowadays in this forward flexed posture from different activities that we do throughout the day, which I'll you know, show you examples, an example of, but now if we add a load onto it where you're actually holding something, or even if you're holding something that's you know, not even that heavy, if you are outstretched, if you're having it you know, farther out from your body, that's gonna cause more increased pressure on the discs. So sitting, you'd think, okay, that probably takes more pressure off of my discs, off the, off the low back than what standing does. Actually, it doesn't. So even sitting, it, it increases the force on those discs compared to standing, compared to lying down. But now if you're sitting and then add in that forward flex posture, again, like we do so often with daily activities, whether you're sitting on your phone, on your computer, uh, uh, you know, reading, you know, maybe you're hunched over there. And now if we added a load, where again, we're having an extra weight that we're holding on to that increases it another, I mean, so from standing all the way up to here, another 175 uh, uh, kilograms of pressure. So this, you know, these positions, so what is are the most advantageous positions? Well, we're not gonna be lying down or, or you know, all the time, but upright posture. That's, you know, that's why I suggest standing desks rather than sitting down behind your computer all day. So what, you know, what are some uh, big no-nos? And here's the deal. If you're going to be in these positions for any period of time, at most, before getting up and moving around, at most 30 minutes, but ideally even 20 minutes doing some sort of exercises. And I'll even, you know, and I'll, I'll link to a mobility exercise that I, I really like called the thoracic mobility exercise. I'll link to a, a, a video of that so you can see it. So you see, look at this, on our laptop or Chromebook or tablet or phones, look at, again, these are just five pictures. I could, and I have, I've taken pictures of people out in the community, out in, you know, out in daily life, in walking around, sitting around, at the bus stops, waiting for things, waiting in line at grocery stores, in there, and more than likely you are hunched over. So you want to make sure you, you keep it upright as much as possible. And if you're stuck in that position where it's hard for you to get in an upright position, stay tuned to the end of this, and I'll give you a resource for that. So now, what are the worst exercises as far as for disc pressure, especially in your lumbar spine, in your low back. And I'm not saying you can't do these, but doing them repetitively or is the only method and means of, 
of exercise, your, your core or getting a six pack, then, you know, you're, you're asking yourself for a recipe for, you know, failure, a recipe for pain, a recipe for breakdown of your low back and of your spine and of your nervous system actually too. So look at this. So again, standing, if that's at 100% of load on the disc, now and that's why I put this one specifically, sit-ups and or crunches, because that's the one that most people go to when they're like, well, I, I want to train my, my stomach. I want to train my core. So you do these crunches, which actually increase it by 110%. If I'm doing my math right there, puts it up to 210 in that position. And even, you know, these exercises, which are deemed to be pretty good for the low back, which they can be, we have to watch out for them because they can increase the pressure on the disc, like this called the Superman, where you're laying on your stomach, lifting your arms up, lifting your le legs up, and it causes more pressure in the lumbar spine, especially on the discs. So again, you see here, lying down with your legs up, puts it at, you know, less than 100, or, you know, the 35. So again, that's the least amount of stress, but it's not like you, you don't want to be in that position all the time. You can do it if you have sprained your back, but you want to get up and moving to retrain these because what happens a lot of times is if you have a previous injury to the spine, and then you don't properly rehab them with certain exercises and strengthen different muscles of the core, well, guess what? Then it's going to keep getting weaker and weaker and predispose you to injuring yourself again. So one of my favorite exercises, and actually my favorite exercise, I'll, I'll link to the, the video here. It's called the abdominal brace. It's the number one ab exercise for a strong spine to, to recondition a, a weak spine and strengthen your core. Everything is built off of this abdominal brace maneuver. So definitely watch that video uh, so you, you can see how to do it. Now, here's the resource that I, I mentioned. I want you to type spine in the comments so I can send you this uh, uh, strong spine mini class or the spinal hygiene mini class that I put together. It's really simple. Goes over just three simple things that you can do to help nourish your spine, to help exercise your spine, to help make sure you're having uh, good posture in your daily activities, and then also a specific uh, method of, of, of retraining your spine, your, your, the ligaments of your spine called traction. So type spine in the comments, do that so that I can send this to you and you can learn how to and now know how to strengthen your spine for a healthy life and to be your own guarantee for your health in your life. All right.